folks with the Thompson machine. Uh, we got a request from a customer to demonstrate how well uh, Vaseline, aka petroleum jelly, works in the Poseidon as an ablative, um, with the idea being that because it's, you know, obviously oil-based, not a water-based, you could leave this, and, and it's thick, you could leave this in the silencer long-term as an ablative, you know, as your bedside gun or whatever for a home defense setup, whereas you wouldn't want to leave a water base like wire pulling gel or ultrasound jelly um, in the silencer long term. Um, also with the idea that of course, you know, because it is thicker, it would stay in place better than, than a water base. So today we're going to try it. We've got our scientific um, graduated measuring device here and uh, we're going to use about half of one of these spoons full of petroleum jelly and about half of one of these spoons full of wire pulling gel and we'll see how they sound side by side on a Glock on two Glock 17s same silencer two Poseidon 9s all right we're outside we're gonna wet the cans so I'm gonna wet the can with uh, the petroleum jelly first as I said I'm gonna be very scientific about this so you know half or so and as I said earlier when you are wetting a silencer, you want the majority of the ablative to be in the blast chamber. Now you don't want it to be obscuring the bore. So you want to make sure your bore is fairly clear. Okay. Mmm, yummy. So, all wet with petroleum jelly. And you could, in theory, Assuming this works well, put this on your bedside gun, leave it on your bedside gun, wet indefinitely. So, uh, kind of a neat, kind of a neat thing. Now this one, we're going to more traditionally wet it with some wire pulling gel. Once again, very scientifically. Let's go with about that much. How about that? And this wire pulling gel is a little old, so it's a little more watery than it would normally be. So we're just going to put that in there, kind of shake it around, make sure it's not in the bore. Screw it on the gun. Now this would be more for range shooting. You wouldn't want to leave the water based in your gun long term for obvious reasons. So, let's shoot them and see what happens. You want me to shoot them both? Yeah. Okay. Charge both the guns here. Alright, in my right hand I have the petroleum jelly. In my left hand I have the wire pulling gel. Safety first. Petroleum jelly. Very nice. Wire pulling gel. Petroleum jelly. Wire pulling gel. Petroleum jelly. So the jelly got louder, a little bit faster. Faster and a little smoky, but great for the first few shots it appears yeah so you probably don't need more than four or five shots in a home defense scenario so there you go if you do you live in the wrong neighborhood <laughs> that's right <laughs> yep all right we've got the petroleum jelly wetted can in the right hand uh wire pulling gel on the left let's see how they stack up 147 grain ammo petroleum jelly Wire pulling gel. Petroleum jelly. Wire pulling gel. Petroleum jelly. Wire pulling gel. Sounded about the same. Sounded about the same. So I would say petroleum jelly is a very good uh, option as far as wetting your silencer. There you have it. Um, and we're also going to do some videos coming up um, showing you guys some other ablatives. We may get adventurous with it. So who knows? Stay tuned. Uh, check us out on YouTube and Facebook and all that good stuff. So.